the best companies to work for in 2022 other than Google and Meta. And that's the topic I'm gonna be sharing with you today, guys. I'm sure everybody knows about big tech companies that offer amazing perks to their employees, but to be honest, I'm not covering those famous companies like Google or Facebook or Meta because the internet and YouTube are full of such videos already. And therefore, I want to focus on those companies that do appreciate their employees and recognize hard work with better pay for flexibility, and a wide range of employee benefits. As an HR professional, I can confirm you that it's not always about a lovely income to support your lifestyle and work alongside prominent names. However, I have to admit that working alongside bright and smartest people is very enticing. The companies that I'm going to mention in today's video are based in the United States, but some of them do have offices across the globe, so make sure you check them out if you are interested. But what's important is that the companies that I'm going to present you in a minute are working in consultancy, healthcare, hospitality, in academia, and in legal areas. And they made it to my list because they pay well and provide high level of satisfaction for their employees. So to start the video with a great company to work for in engineering sector, I want to specifically mention NVIDIA Corporation. The company works on things that don't yet exist or are not mainstream using accelerated computing, AI, deep learning, virtual reality, gaming, self-driving cars with full of supercomputing and robotics. And therefore it's a highly recommended company for all professional gigs out there, not only to engineering gigs, but also if you are working in sales and business development in IT marketing or admin operations, you can definitely enjoy working in NVIDIA. They have lots of positions so you got to check them out. If you want to apply for a job there, it's better to do it before Meteor comes because as I noticed after June, NVIDIA's hiring process slows down. What I also love to see is that NVIDIA's headcount growth in HR function increased by 33% within 12 months, which means that their workforce probably projected to grow and improve. Otherwise, why does a company need so many new HRs? Examples of some of the competitive perks include a comprehensive healthcare program, 100% of dental coverage, pet insurance, benefit plans for interns and their family members. Financial perks also include powerful tax advantage personal spending accounts that help you cover your educational or daycare expenses if you have kids up to $5,000 per year. As an NVIDIA employee, you would also enjoy unlimited vacation and sick days, 22 weeks of fully paid maternity leave plus 12 weeks for new dads. And you can borrow up to 100K at fixed rate if you need it, for example, for housing purposes. And on top of that, they also help you repay your student loan, which is capped to 30K per employee. I'm sharing this exclusively with you guys. And if you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to like and sub the channel and press the bell not to miss any of my future videos like this. According to the premium link and data that I'm sharing with you. And video employees work on average 3.6 years in the company, which is similar to Google's employee tenure. This is, by the way, 140% longer than an average employee working in Facebook or Meta, which is only one and a half years. So the next company I want to mention here works in FinTech, which is Intuit. If you are craving to work for a great FinTech company, Intuit would be a great place to work. The company offers a long range of employee perks on top of good salaries, of course, and their total additional benefits package value is around 34K per year per employee, which is quite high and higher than in NVIDIA, for example, the company that I mentioned before. To add to the standard health insurance, your pet also gets medical help if needed, and Intuit also helps with fertility issues. I mean, human fertility. But they also offer on-site car wash. <laughs> which I think is pretty fun perk to come up with. And you can spend 50% of your base salary to buy company stocks with a 15% discount, which is offered twice a year. Don't be surprised, there will also be a vesting period like two, three years, which is an industry standard. And I think this is totally fair. What is also cool about Intuit is that you can work remotely forever if you choose so, if your manager approves this type of arrangement. And also 
also, if you represent a minority group, Intuit is a great inclusive workplace that not only welcomes people from different ethnic backgrounds, but also provide medical coverage to transgenders to undergo prescribed medical services, not to mention if you are an LGBT representative, you will feel good there and welcomed. Don't ever limit yourself to the IT industry or tech industry because the next company that consistently ranks high is Bain and Company. So Bain and Co, as I will call it, is a top management consulting firm that advises CEO on many strategic things that companies may undergo across all industries and geographies. So if you want to get into consulting business, make sure you better start preparing your job application because the spike in hiring comes in June. Just like two previous great employers, Bain also offers great employee perks, including 401k contributions that are made by the employer on your behalf if you opt out from the retirement program for any reason, which I think is a surprising way to retain employees. However, if you count it in terms of the total value of employee benefits, I'm sure it will turn out to be industry standard as a whole, simply because there is always an annual cap. I expect something around six to 10K per year that would go into your 401k and because you have access to the world CEO and you get to know all the insights of their businesses and in different industries, I think that learning and networking opportunities may be invaluable. And also keep in mind there is one thing that can stop you from working in Bain is that if you are not ready to travel substantially, it's not the best place to work because business traveling is required even during the pandemic. So another great company to work for in legal area is Oric. This legal firm is represented in 25 global offices. The average employee tenure is great. I think it's long, 6.3 years on average. And they hire mostly in the months of January and June. And I believe this is the time when a lot of employees in the law industry receive their annual or semi-annual bonuses and quit joining Oric. It's just my guess. I'm not totally sure of the hiring spikes in those two months, but this is just my guess. What I loved about Oric is that according to Glassdoor reviews, they have the best maternal and paternal leaves in the country, and they also offer comprehensive health insurance, longer vacation time, something around three to four weeks as a start. But what is still unusual for any employer of such a caliber is that the law firm mandates employees to unplug from work and take a week off like cold tech free leave, which is fully paid. Working for the right company can be vital based on what you prioritize at a specific stage in your life. And therefore, let's talk about higher education. You may also ask Manshuk what's so special about working in Harvard, for example. And I'll tell you why it's so special because it may be important to someone. So I know a person who got a job at Harvard University who has three kids. Two of them are teenagers and pre-college age and one kid goes to the daycare. And it's needless to say that you may win an educational lottery if you work for one of those academic institutions that provide fully paid or discounted daycare rates or a tuition discount if you're lucky or your kid may enroll in those institutions because they may have a little bit more leverage in the admission process. Obviously, I haven't worked in the US top schools, but I worked in a top school in Asia and I know that employees and their immediate relatives received automatic 50% tuition discount there are no questions asked. There is no ties to sustain a high GPA, nothing. It's given to you automatically because you work there. So my sister got a 50% tuition discount for her executive MBA degree. And I also indirectly helped my husband to win 100% merit-based scholarship in the law school by just chatting with my colleague from the law school and who occasionally mentioned that it was the last day to submit an application for this 100% dean scholarship. I called my husband right away and it was a morning time and he was literally writing an essay for the whole day and he sent it before 6 p.m. end of the day. And luckily he got 100% 
merit-based scholarship, plus a researcher's position in academia. In a couple of years after graduation, he received a message from a law firm based in New York that offered him a position of an associate lawyer, which was around 200K per year. And it was in 2016. Anyways, we didn't move to the U.S. because of New York State bar requirements and because my husband was just lazy to pass it being in Asia. I know that this may sound stupid that he lost that opportunity, but we were already contemplating moving to Canada at that time. And by telling you all this, I just want to focus on one thing that this is how working in academic institutions may change your life drastically. So if you want to work in higher education, most of them are quite similar to each other, offering similar perks, similar times off, similar environments, and similar seasonality that would reflect directly on your workload. Salaries may be adjusted according to the locations of those institutions. Obviously, a university on the West Coast would offer maybe a higher salary than on the East Coast. But again, this is defined by the cost of living in that area rather than the quality of the employer because most of them are quite similar. However, to be fair, salaries at Columbia University are highest compared to the rest of private and public universities. And remember that I'm talking only about academic positions. Working in the hospitality sector was the most challenging in the last three years, but the more an industry is subject to the economic crisis, the more it's visible how the management treats its employees. If we talk about hospitality industry, Hilton beats Marriott and Hyatt because of higher travel benefits and longer employee tenure. And the only advice for everyone who wants to work in hospitality management is to apply for mid or senior positions because this is the level where you truly start to enjoy a good working life balance and higher salary. And if you're thinking about combining work, rest, and great perks while traveling this year, check out Royal Caribbean Group. With Royal Caribbean, you can travel basically for free around the world, not to mention you will be surrounded by the same travel enthusiasts just like yourself that probably results in a fun and friendly working environment. So the only downside is that traveling while working is time consuming and you won't see your family and friends so much and won't be able to unplug from your work if you want to and your shifts might be very, very long. So you need to get prepared for that. So Royal Caribbean offers fair pay, free meals, free board, and it's amazing in general for young people who love adventures. In addition, if you need visa support, you will get it and the company will open a work permit for you. If you, for example, switch to an office job one day and wish to relocate somewhere from Asia to Europe or to North America or vice versa. So in any case, I know a lot of companies that are both good and bad. And let me know if you want me to continue with this topic. I'll add more companies into my list and present it to you. So if you enjoyed this video, press the like button, sub the channel for more content like this and get notified when a new video video comes out and hit the bell and share your wisdom in the comment section below. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.